Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Vanessa's Birthday Bash. I hope you all sang along. <sighs> I played it in three different keys for you, F, F sharp and G major. So, yes, I hope you found a key that fitted for you and you could sing along loudly and in whatever language you want. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Vanessa's birthday and we are going to celebrate together. And for a change, I don't have very much to do tonight. No, that's not true. I have lots to do tonight. But we have so many surprises for Vanessa. They, it, this has been a rather overwhelming uh, a collection of surprises over the last few days. We have, we have entries, we have videos, we have messages, we have things from all over the world. We have, we have, we have, uh, it, it's just amazing. It really is truly amazing. So let's start. Oh, and by the way, do stick around right until the end this evening because yes, we have a surprise for you. We have a very good surprise for you. So please do stick around. We have a great little surprise. Now, uh, let's start this evening's celebrations. Now, we have to do quite a bit of jiggery pokery tonight, yeah? Now, because we're using so many technological things here, and because so many people have sent things in, Vanessa and I together will be having to do the direction this evening. So, we're going to start with Vanessa's family. Vanessa's busy typing away to somebody yeah. in the background. Who are you typing to in the background, Vanessa? <laughs> Everybody. Vanessa, is, yeah. Vanessa always wants to include everybody, which is why you all love Vanessa so much and why we all love you so much. So, Vanessa, if you would please click the, that one, that's the one, put it on full screen for me, please. There we yeah. are. And when you're ready, um, when you're ready, I'll, I'll give you a signal to press play. This, ladies and gentlemen, this, oops, Sorry, I pressed that. I pressed that. I'm yeah. such an amateur. I can't yeah. do this. This is it's too complicated for me. This is easy, but this this job here is incredibly complicated. So what I have to do here, I have to be very careful. Tone. I have to the tone. It's already on. It's already on. But I just have to. Do, have you started it yet? No. no. Okay. Good. Ay, ay, ay. There you are. You just got a very brief. This video. This is Vanessa's family. So you're about to see. Let me see. Have a look myself. You will see Vanessa's mum. Vanessa's mum is here tonight. That's Claudia Tais. That's Vanessa's mum. So you'll see Vanessa's mum. She's the one with the blonde hair. That's Vanessa's mum. You will see Vanessa's much younger brother. He's, how old is Sam? L 11. Sam is 11. You will see Sam. You will see Vanessa's dad in the middle. You will see Vanessa's dad. Then you will see Vanessa's older brother with his girlfriend. They're the ones wearing masks. In case you're wondering. Now they're wearing masks because of, is of course still Corona season and the family, even when they get together, we're still very careful. So they did this surprise video for us earlier this afternoon and I have this sneaking suspicion they're going to sing to us as well. So <laughs> and Vanessa's already laughing in the background because she knows how her family sings. But let's put it like this. It's the thought that counts. So here we are. This then is Vanessa's family greeting Vanessa for her birthday party with us tonight. Get ready for this. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Vanessa. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Woo! I hope you, we can't hear it. That's the amazing thing. We can't hear what's, we can't hear what's going on, which is the amazing thing. But there you are. That's Vanessa's family dancing around in, in one of the little villages near where we live as well. They live in a little village further over. So there you are. So that was them doing their thing. Now, at the same time, at the same time, Vanessa's other brother called Dennis. Dennis also put together a quick video as well. This is Dennis with his girlfriend, Tanya. And uh, Dennis and Tanya put a very quick video. It's very quick. Blink and you will miss it. This then is Dennis and Tanya. Wait for it. <laughs> Hello, Vanessa. Alles gut zum Geburtstag. Like I said, blink and you will miss it. That was Dennis and Tanya saying happy birthday very quickly to Vanessa. So my goodness me. Uh, and we have quite a few videos coming up as well. We have some more um, 
musical videos though, so don't worry. But isn't that cute? Now you get to see Vanessa's family, but you still haven't been able to see Vanessa yet. But don't worry, that's coming. Or is it? Did I just give away the secret? I don't know. Did I just give away the secret? Now, oh, Vanessa, where's my hymn book, actually? Uh-oh. Oh, oh where's my hymn book? Can you get me my hymn book, please? Yeah. Um, uh, tonight's music is all Vanessa's favorites, okay? So we have a lot of things here. Now, there's, there's uh, a lot of the favorite music. There's favorite music performed by me, favorite music performed by other international organists, and, and uh, you'll love it. You'll wait and see. So... Um, this is one of Vanessa's favorite hymns, which is absolutely perfect for playing on this magnificent organ. We're on, of course, the organ in Alessandria at the moment. I don't think there will be any theater organ tonight. Vanessa doesn't like theater organ. Do Max kind of keynote organ very close now? No. Uh, anyway, here is then Vanessa's, Vanessa's second favorite hymn. It's the one I've played many times before. It's called Mein Gott, wie schön ist deine Welt. It's a beautiful hymn all about how wonderful the nature is out there. I've played it before and I'm going to play it again. An improvisation in a sort of an Anglican style on a German hymn for my beautiful wife, Vanessa. Happy birthday.
That then was the wonderful hymn tune, Mein Gott, wie schön ist deine Welt, which translates roughly as, My Lord, what a beautiful world. So it's basically Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World in hymn form. Now then, another of Vanessa's favorite hymns. Time for a video. Oh yeah, another of Vanessa's favorite hymns. This is going to be Vidas this time. Vidas. Vidas. Have you got Vidas? Yes. Yes, this is going to be great. Is it at the beginning? Yes, it is. Yeah. Should be. Yeah, perfect. Um, our friend and longtime Garchor gang member, Vidas Pinkevichus. Now, you all know Vidas because he is the brains and the personality behind Secrets of Organ Playing, which is a channel right here on YouTube. And uh, Vidas asked me a couple of weeks ago to give him one of Vanessa's favorite hymn tunes because he would like to improvise, or actually compose, is more, the more correct word, compose a piece of music around it, like a meditation or something like that, for, um, for Vanessa for her birthday, which is an absolutely wonderful gesture and a wonderful thing to do. So here then, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, Vidas Pinkevichus's version of Möge die Straße, which is number 852 here in this version of the hymn book, but you might know it as the Irish Blessing. This is the German version of the Irish Blessing played and composed by a Lithuanian organist for an international music channel. This is the beauty of YouTube. Isn't this absolutely wonderful? So, ladies and gentlemen, here then is Vidas playing for Vanessa, and he starts off with a quick message too. Happy birthday, Vanessa. I'm so glad to be part of this musical greeting. And um, a little bird uh, whispered into my ear that you like a special hymn tune called Möge die Straße, um, uh, or uh, uh, May the Road Rise to Meet You, um, based on Irish blessings. Um, this is sort of a uh, noise guys like a slid style song. And uh, I decided to create a meditation on Melge de Strasse for you. And I hope you will enjoy the beautiful sounds of Hauptwerk uh, Utrecht Dom sample, sample set sounds. And uh, of course, um, happy birthday. And thank you so much for uh, helping Fraser behind the scenes with his live streams. And I hear you have a passion uh, with your own upcoming channel, right? So good luck with your project. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your videos as well. All right, without further ado, here is meditation on Möge die Straße, dedicated to Vanessa Garchor.
Sorry, yes, um, <laughs> technical stuff here. Very good. Ah, wonderful. Vidas, thank you very much indeed. In fact, Vanessa? Uh, Vanessa is about to write something exciting. Sorry about the time it took me to get back to um, switching the video around. I was waiting for it to finish here on the iPad before I heard it there. So, yeah. Vanessa was shouting at me in the background, get it on, get it on, get it on. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> so, there we are. so, that was, isn't that beautiful? Now, Secrets of Organ Playing. That's the channel name. Go and check it out. Go and check it out. And you can actually download a lot of Vidas's music at the moment. Vidas is a prolific composer of organ music. And there's been a lot, there's been a lot of exciting, um, a lot of exciting stuff going on recently on the Secrets of Organ Music channel. Secrets of Organ Playing, sorry, Secrets of Organ Playing. And um, uh, Vidas, Vidas the other day composed a piece for me, which I played on Friday night. So if you haven't seen that yet, go and check out Friday night stream where I played Vidas' uh, meditation for me. And now he's done one for Vanessa as well, which is absolutely beautiful and wonderful of him. Um, wonderful chap. So go and check out Secrets of Organ Playing. Go and check out his channel and uh, see what's there. Now, like I said, tonight is going to be an evening of music for, for Vanessa. And Vanessa has given me a number of um, requests that she would like to hear played this evening. So uh, I see Colin Charmley has just written asking about other requests. And yes, Colin, I got your email. I got your email, but for some reason the link didn't work. I think the link is linked to your account, if you know what I mean, um, con concerning that piece of music. But don't worry, I found the piece of music you were talking about. So on Friday, your request will be in there. Now, other people who have requested other things, this will all be coming in the next things. Tonight is all about Vanessa. And actually, while we're on the subject, all about Vanessa, anyone who is going to donate anything this evening, we're always very grateful when you donate things towards us, towards the channel, and all those you know, and all those other things. We're very, very grateful indeed. So all, um, all of um, anything that comes in tonight will be, of course, for Vanessa, and she is going to put it towards something good. That's what she's told us. So there you are. So if you are going to join us in with donations this evening and thank yous, it's all for Vanessa this evening. And I think Vanessa will probably very quickly paste a PayPal link or something like that. She's very good at doing that. Now... Vanessa loves modern music, but there are some old pieces of music that she loves as well. And I have been permitted, permitted, I say, permitted to play one piece of jazzy music that she likes. And it's from Porgy and Bess by the Gershwins. And it is, of course, summertime. The weather's almost summery, so this is my version of summertime for Vanessa.
Summertime from the Gershwins for Vanessa from me. <sighs> we just entered summertime here in this part of the world. I'm talking, of course, about the summer daytime. You know what I mean? Um, the clocks changed last night. So most of the world is now on summertime. So that's it. So that was a perfect piece of timing, I think. Now, this magnificent magnificent lady sitting next to me this evening is the reason that all of this takes place yeah without Vanessa none of this would have started to take place five years ago five years ago a couple of weeks before her birthday five years ago Vanessa and I decided that we were miserable beyond belief in the relationships we were in at the time and or had been at the time and it's time to change and move on and get ready for a new life. So we sorted our things out, got together, and since then, life has been perfect. She's not listening. Duck. Oh, she is, she's listening. Okay, she's busy concentrating on chat and listening at the same time. She's like and since then, oh, she's concentrating on her garage. It's not my garage we're going, it's her garage we're going. Okay. <laughs> I understand, I understand. No, but uh, the last five years have been the best five years of my adult life. I think I have to say that because obviously when you're a kid you have fun as well. But yes, of my adult life, the last five have definitely been the best. And that is all thanks to Vanessa. She is, if you don't have your own Vanessa, go and find your own Vanessa. If you're not happy in your life, then something is wrong. You need a Vanessa in your life. Not my Vanessa, you need your own Vanessa, obviously. Um, my Vanessa is very special to me, of course. And I'd like to think that I'm special to her as well. She's not listening. She, she's tip, tippy-tapping away in the background, so not, I'm not, she's not paying any attention. I could say anything I like at the moment, couldn't I? Yeah. <sighs> no, and, and like I said, life has just been perfect since then. And it was Vanessa's idea to push this whole YouTube thing and to really get it going. And it was Vanessa's idea to start doing live streams last year. She said, we need, to, we, need to, you know, we need to be spontaneous with our audience and have fun with our audience. And that's what started all these live streams. And of course, a lot of this was born out of the ideas that we were forced into because of the pandemic around the world. But I, could, I can't come up with these ideas. These are all her ideas. So Vanessa is definitely the driving factor behind all of this. And that is why I love Vanessa more than anybody else in the entire universe. She's not listening. <laughs> it must be tough to scare. Uh, she has to concentrate. She's concentrating on what you guys are talking about, not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just said you're the most per most important person in the universe to me. Oh, because that's her. Oh, apparently I'm the best man for her in the world as well. Yeah. I'm glad she said that. <laughs> yes, very good. So, uh, there we are. That's what I wanted to hear. She said the magic words. Ich liebe dich über alles. I love you above everything else in the world. More than everything else. There we are. And of course, I love her to bits as well. And it is absolutely wonderful. So yes, go and find yourself a Vanessa and you too will be the happiest person in the world. Now then, now then, back to other things from other people. Back when my birthday took place in January, I was surprised. Saitra Reen Rodi Razbaz. Ah, now this is going to be a nice surprise. This is going to be a nice surprise. Back at the, uh, yeah, back in January when it was my birthday, and we, we did a live stream, was it the day, the day before my birthday? That was right. It was a Sunday night. My birthday was on Monday, so we went, we sort of celebrated into my birthday on the Sunday night. And I was surprised by our friend and colleague who is here this evening, Reen Schalkweik. And Reen, together with quite a few other people, put together a sort of a secret, a secret video. And um, he did the same thing for Vanessa for this evening. And we know that Vanessa loves cheesy music. So they've put together something cheesy for Vanessa. Now, is it ready to go? Yeah. It is ready to go. Okay, so this is Reen. Rodi and Razbaz, all of those three guys are there this evening. Is that yeah. right? They're all there? Yeah. Razbaz is there, Marco, that's Marco, and Rodi, that's Robert, and of course Reen, that's that. Colonel Ryan. Reen is always there. We love Reen to bits. And yes. And? 
the, the Bugelkönig, the, the, uh, the, the Iron King, is what we call Rien now, because normally Rien is the one doing the ironing on a Sunday night at home. He irons all the clothes for his family. And, but anyway, enough talk. Here then is the piece of uh, music recorded by Rien, Rudi, and Razbaz. Get ready for. Wasn't that wonderful? Wasn't that cute? Something to say, Vanessa? Oh, uh, Vanessa loved it. Vanessa loved it. So she said, what did she say in the back? She said, that was absolutely wonderful. That was beautiful. That was amazing. Sweet, really sweet, she said, of you guys. I think she's, she's actually got a little bit red in the face there. So that's fine. So that worked really beautifully. Thank you to Reen, Rodi, and Rasbaz for that. La vie en rose, that was correct, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. A wonderful piece of music. And yes, that was absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, nice one. Thank you, guys. That was really rather beautiful indeed. Now, Reen will be back later in a different guise. Um, this, um, I'm really excited to hear what's coming later. This is really, it's really funny what's coming later. It, I think it's actually a world premiere, what's coming later. Uh, Reen was involved in another project that I knew nothing about until a couple of days ago. And uh, that's going to be really rather cute. Now, when, uh, when I was getting ready for this evening, a couple of days ago, I said to Vanessa, I said, what do you want me to play? Are there any classical pieces of music that you would like to hear? Better not forget to switch the organ back on. I switched the organ off so you don't have that music in there, that, that air sound in the background. And it turns out that Vanessa is a fan of none other than Ludwig van Beethoven. Bet you would never believe that. And she requested two pieces of music by Beethoven this evening. And I don't think I've ever played anything by Beethoven on the organ before. Now one of them is a piece of music everybody knows, as is the other one. So I'm going to play the loud one first. This is a piece of music by Ludwig van 
And I think you might recognize it, at least those of you who claim to be European will definitely recognize it. A little improvisation then on the Ode to Joy, otherwise known as, otherwise known as? Okay. Known as? Oh, 
Freude schöner Götter. Freude schöner Götter. Freude schöner Götter funken. She's concentrating. She's concentrating so much on the Gacho Gang chat this evening. She's writing WhatsApp messages to her mum. Yeah. Yeah. Caught. Caught. I said two pieces by Beethoven, but the second piece by Beethoven will come after our next interlude, and this time we're going to head to a completely different part of the world, a completely different continent for that matter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to jump on a flight. We are going to fly all the way down to Australia. Oh, and when we arrive in Australia, we are going to visit Mr. James Flores, the wonderful Mr. James Flores. And James, another original member of the Gaucho gang, got his recording equipment together and recorded a message and a piece of music for Vanessa. And not only is it any piece of music, it is a piece of music by all of our favorite organ composer, Mr. Graham Twist. So James is going to play a piece of twist for you from his organ in Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. James Flore. Well, hello there, James Flores, Australia's favourite internet organist. And I'm just going to say a very, very happy birthday to our very much loved Vanessa Gartshaw, Director of Music for Fraser Gartshaw, Director, Manager, all those things that um, she does behind the scenes for all of Fraser's live streams. We thank you, we love you very much. Um, and I'm going to play you a little piece for your birthday. It is by one of the Gartshaw gang, uh, by Graham Twist. It is his Takata Giacosa. And it's a much loved piece all over YouTube. So we're going to hear it again, uh, played by me on the Billa Beck uh, sample set by Sonus Paradisi. All right, let's see how this goes.
There you go, Vanessa. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Hope you enjoyed that. That was severely under-practiced. Uh, I'm actually uh, recorded this in advance, obviously, but I'm going away all of this week, so I had to quickly rush to get this done because we appreciate everything you do. So excuse the little inaccuracies there, and sorry, Graham. I'm so very sorry for the inac inaccuracies, but I hope the Billabeck reverb kind of evened all that stuff out. Very, very nice sample set. Um, and while I've got the stage, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. How cool was that? How cool was that? Thank you so much, James Flores, for doing that. Vanessa, do we have a word? Wonderful. 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 Is that it? Wonderful. Escape. Wonderful. Escape. Ah. Ah. So, did you want to say something to James? Ja, das hat irgendwas. Auf Deutsch, es war sehr schön. It was very good. Is that I it? Love, I love this teddy. He, and she loves the teddy on the console as well. There you are. That's the most important thing. <laughs> she loves your teddy on your console, James. There you are. So, now, James, yes, thank you very, very much indeed for doing that. And, of course, that's, a, that's, an, that's an indirect thank you, of course, to Graham Twist as well. Graham is one of our most loyal and long-term supporters, fans, pals, friends. Um, both James and Graham, of course. So thank you to both of you. Thank you to Graham for composing that wonderful piece of music. And thank you to James for playing it so wonderfully for our wonderful Vanessa. So yeah, isn't that cool? That's really cool. Thank you very much indeed. This is, this is what a wonderful night this is. All these wonderful people. I'm a li like I say, I'm quite jealous actually, because when it was my birthday, I only got one surprise. And now Vanessa's getting hundreds of surprises. Talking of surprises, um, we, we had a real surprise earlier this morning. Um, I don't know how many of you follow the concert schedule in different churches around the world. Hmm. Well, tonight, or at least earlier this evening, so it's the 27th of March, and earlier this evening in my old church in Bonn, in Bonn Boyle, where I used to play the wonderful Oberlinger organ in Bonn Boyle, um, Olivier Latry was playing a concert. And Olivier only comes over like maybe once a year, and I always usually try to get to it. Olivier and I are old friends, we've known each other for well over 20 years, and normally I try to get to it. So I wrote Olivier a quick WhatsApp this morning to say, oh my God, I'm really sorry, I can't make it to the concert, have a great concert, it's Vanessa's birthday, so I won't be able to be there. And Olivier wrote back about five minutes later and says, don't worry, we'll see you next time, and tell Vanessa a very happy birthday from me as well. So there you are. So how many... How many organists' wives do you know get happy birthday messages from Olivier Latry? That's kind of cool, isn't it? So, <laughs> not many people have that little privilege there. But like I said, Olivier and I have been friends for over 20 years. So, um, so yeah, that's fun stuff. Right, back to Beethoven then. I promised you two pieces of Beethoven. And this is probably the most hackneyed piece of piano music by Beethoven ever. And believe it or not, I've never played it on the piano. I've certainly never played it on the organ. And I'm not terribly sure I'm even going to be able to play it now. But I promised I would sight read it. And I've just realized I got it in the wrong order. That would have been fun. Oh, do Don't worry, you don't have to have a bad conscience about not doing anything for my birthday. Next yeah, year. Of course they did something, but listen, listen, next year, this is a subtle warning, of course, next year I'm going to be 50, yeah? So next year, in, at the end of January, yeah, I'm going to yeah. be 50. So <laughs> we'll have a huge international party for my 50th birthday. So yeah. that, that's going to be good fun. That's going to be good fun. This, ladies and gentlemen, is another piece of music by Beethoven that you will all recognize. See if you think it works on an organ. I hope so.
That was my sight reading of Für Elise on the organ. Old fashioned, old fashioned notation as well. So yeah, like I said, I've never played, I never even played it on the piano when I learned piano. But when Vanessa was young, she had some piano lessons and the first piece of music she learned was part of Für Elise. So there you are. First time for everything. How exciting was that? Yeah, that's actually been a regular request on the channel for quite a long time, believe it or not. For quite a long time. Now, what's this? Here's, hmm, I'm not sure what that is. That looks like a piece of music. And this also looks like a piece of music. But we will come to that shortly. Why will we come to that shortly? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have another request. Yes. We have another request. Now, this time we're not going to head to Australia. We're not going to head to Asia. We're going to combine different continents this time. We are going to merge the Netherlands with Ohio over in the United States of America. Now, this is the real surprise this evening. This is truly the real surprise this evening. Reen, the Iron King, Reen got together with Jerry Martin. We all know Jerry Martin. Jerry Martin is one of the finest online organists around. And Jerry is Jerry's just wonderful. He, he just posted a video of him playing the fugue from the Passacaglia and C minor by Bach on one of the world's largest organs. And he just rattled it off like it was any old piece of music. That's how, that's how good Jerry is in this world. Jerry is wonderful. And of course, Reen is also wonderful. And Reen is one of the most prolific posters of organ music on YouTube. He posts every day. If you haven't checked out Reen's channel, then please make sure you go and check it out because it's fantastic. Every day there's a new piece of music. Reen doesn't just play the organ, he also plays the cinema organ. And he plays cinema organ style music very well indeed. And Reen got together with Jerry. And I assumed they would do an organ duet. Oh, how wrong I was. I shall say no more. This is a world premiere, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you Reen Schalkweik and Jerry Martin together in duet. Listen to this.
isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever seen and heard in your life? Vanessa is completely speechless. I am completely speechless. That is just fascinating. Now, if you don't know what that was, if you don't know what that was, that was, well, it was Reen playing, what organ was Reen playing? I wasn't even, sorry, I wasn't concentrating about Reen was playing. Wonderful playing, of course, on the organ. It was probably Alessandria, was it Alessandria? And uh, Jerry on a marvellous instrument called a theremin. Do you know what a theremin is? Yes, you do now. What a magnificent, a magnificent piece of kit. Uh, and Jerry is something of an expert on the world of theremin. And as far as I know, I think that's probably the world's first organ theremin duet, certainly on YouTube. Certainly on YouTube. And I think that's absolutely wonderful indeed. Don't you think that was amazing? The Glory of Love uh, by Reen and Jerry on the organ and theremin respectively. And to make it even more fun, I don't know if you got it. Somebody did. I spotted it in the chat. We were watching and listening on the chat as it went along. And somebody got it that Jerry was wearing his Star Trek t-shirt because the theremin sounds a little bit like... Hold on, just switch the on back it. Sorry, other way around, yes, and so on and so on. It sounds a little bit like the, um, the start of the old Star Trek theme. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know. And yes, the, the theremin, it's a sort of, it's, it, it, uh, go and check out Jerry's channel. Jerry has some, some, um, uh, some various videos uh, on theremin and he will recommend other theremin videos for you. It's, it's a fascinating instrument. I think, Jerry, am I right in saying you have three or maybe even four theremins at home in different, um, in different sort of guises and different throughout the different histories of the uh, theremin? The theremin was invented by Moog, or Moog as it should be pronounced, uh, the same company that was very famous for the Moog synthesizer, the modular synthesizers back in the day. How exciting was that? Now, something you didn't hear there was Jerry talking to us. And Jerry recorded a little message for Vanessa as well. Can we have Oh yeah. Can we have the little message now? I've put it on there for you. Yeah. <laughs> Vanessa loves Jerry. Actually everybody loves Jerry. I love Jerry. Vanessa particularly loves Jerry. Um, and uh, Jerry is just we say this regularly because it's true, but Jerry is possibly the kindest, loveliest, friendliest, most honest, caring, and just wonderful chap we know. Um, and that's saying something because we do know a lot of nice people, but Jerry is right at the top. Jerry is, Jerry is just, 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 just the best person in the world. Yeah? Vanessa says yes. And this then... Sorry? But, of course, the entire Gartro gang is just as good. But someone has to be right up there. And, of course, it has to be Jerry. If you know Jerry, you know what I mean. Because Jerry is just literally that perfect person. Here, then, is Jerry's personal message to Vanessa. And giving you a little clue as to what's coming as well. Hi, Vanessa. Wishing you a happy birthday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for all you do behind the scenes. And... We are all really looking forward to learning tips and tricks for you. My garden here behind me needs a little bit of work, so I'm looking forward to that. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, thank you, Jerry. And like I say, Jerry is, Jerry's been with us since the very, very beginning. Um, and Jerry has been very helpful in this as well, putting this organ, helping put this organ together, helping work out, you know, how all these things work. And whenever I have a problem, I've been having lots of problems with this thing here in recent times. And it, I, Jerry's always the one I turn to because uh, he knows everything about computers, everything about Hauptwerk, that's the system we use here for the organs. And um, yeah, Jerry's just a wonderful guy. Mm? Uh oh. We have a technical issue. Doctors must aus der E-Mail machen. Nein. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Äh, Ursa Major, wir haben ein kleines Problem. Okay, das kommt dann, das, das klingt so privat und das heißt nicht mehr aufrufen. Ähm, wir haben ein kleines Problem, das geht mit dem Link nicht mehr. Vorhin hat es geklappt, jetzt klappt es nicht mehr. Das hat vielleicht mit dem anderen Rechner zu tun, die wir jetzt vielleicht nutzen. Vielleicht kann ich es uns aber schnell schicken. Vielleicht kannst du es irgendwie anders schicken. Nee, nochmal einfach so schicken. Ja, ja, aber einfach so schicken wird nicht, wird, weil das ist ein anderes Konto da. Die hat es wahrscheinlich privat für unser Konto gemacht. Oh. Weißt du? Wir hatten noch was. We had another surprise coming up. And we're working on it because there's a kind of technical issue behind there. So um, Ursa Mayer knows what it's all about. She knows what it's all about. Yes, there are women in the organ world too. And we need more of them. We definitely need more of them. Right. Ah, another little piece of organ music then. Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? I hope you're enjoying Vanessa's birthday bash so far. This is absolutely... Vanessa, does, she's speechless, which is... She's, you know, when Vanessa's speechless, that's even more rare than me being speechless. Vanessa always has the right thing to say at the right time. So um, I think we need to work out what's going on here. Something strange is happening. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. But yes, um, all these people who have contributed something this evening. Um, Vanessa, an allen, die was heute Abend für dich gemacht haben. Wahnsinn, ihr seid einfach dem Wahnsinn. Du musst das nicht so sagen. Für mich am Kunstens gehen, die Leute denken, ich <laughs> She's concentrating in the background. Yeah. She, doesn't, she doesn't know what to say. Like I said, she is completely speechless. So to all who contributed something towards this evening's concert, thank you very much on behalf of Vanessa. It's absolutely wonderful. And I, I am, of course, also very, very, very touched indeed to see how, how, um, how important Vanessa is to you, not just to me, but also to you out there. And, And that really is quite something. Because without Vanessa, none of this would be possible, like I just said. Yes, absolutely wonderful. I think we've got quite a few new people here this evening. So um, um, let's just very quickly, let's very quickly recap on what we started with this evening. And if you're not standing, I suggest you get a glass of something, stand up, raise a toast to Vanessa, and let's once again sing together, happy birthday. Ready? quick happy birthday repeat for the beautiful Vanessa. I hope you sang a lot. Don't worry, we're not finished. We've got a lot more music coming. A lot more music coming. Are we working? Yeah. It works? Yeah. Wow. Right. Get ready for this. Now, there is an anecdote connected to this as well. Ursa Mayor. Soll ich das auf Deutsch oder auf Englisch oder beides machen? Meine weibliche Unterstützung, also mit Nancy natürlich, aber meine einer meiner weiblichen wenigen Okay. Okay. Did, habt ihr das gehört? <laughs> um, I, I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, there aren't many women in the organ world and certainly not enough, and especially here. But Vanessa is not alone. We have Ursa Mayor, we have Nancy, we have Sonia, we have Viv C, we have... There's a few. Yeah, I hope I'm not missing anyone out immediately. But yeah, we do have, we do, ha you know, we do have some, we do have some female members of the Gartrow gang out there. 
Ich mache das gleich auf Deutsch, okay? Ich mache das gleich auf Deutsch. Uh, we still have quite, uh, quite a way to go when it comes to gender equality in the organ world. But Vanessa is not all alone. And Vanessa has been in the chats since September, been chatting regularly to Ursa Mayer. Now, we know Ursa Mayer's real name, but I'm not going to reveal it to you. But today we found out something rather amazing. I received an email early this morning from Ursa Mayer with a piece of music she recorded for Vanessa. And I was completely blown away by this piece of music. First of all, Ursa Mayer plays the bass, the electric bass. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, the electric bass. A wonderful instrument, a great instrument. Mm. Anything that has lots of bass has to be good. Organists love bass. So, this was great. But Ursa Mayer was playing a piece of music by, wait for it, Roy Orbison. <gasps> Roy Orbison? Now, sadly, I never got to meet Roy Orbison, but, 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 I did get to meet and work with a lot of people who knew and also worked with Roy Orbison. And, as luck would have it, the recording you are about to hear, and Urza, she's, excuse me, she's playing the bass along to this piece of music, which is rather wonderful. And this piece of music was recorded, mastered, arranged, and, and, you know, produced by none other than Mr. Jeff Lynn. Who is Jeff Lynn? Jeff Lynn is the guy with all the hair and the hat and the glasses behind ELO. Remember them? Electric Light Orchestra. And over the years, over the years, I had my connections to certain people. Let's put it like that. And some of those people were actually on the recording that Roy Orbison did here. Jeff Lynn was there. There was another guy who played guitar and also did some backing vocals together with Jeff Lynn on the back of this album. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and look up a band called The Traveling Wilburys, and then you might know what I'm talking about. All of the people I'm talking about were in The Traveling Wilburys. Roy Orbison as well, until he rather sadly died in, I think, 1989? <laughs> if I'm ready, if I remember correctly one year before, but Vanessa was even born. So, this, ladies and gentlemen, is Uza Mayor, hidden, but Uza Mayor playing the bass along to Roy Orbison's You Got It, wonderful piece of music, produced, of course, by Jeff Lynn, and uh, for, recorded for Vanessa. And wait till the end, there's something very clever at the end of the video involving hands. That's all I'm going to say. Get ready for this. This is really rather cute. Have we got it, baby? Have we got it? You got it? Here we go, let's go.
Nein, nein, nein. <laughs> Wasn't that amazing? Wasn't that amazing? Absolutely wonderful stuff. That's one of my favourite tunes from my youth, from growing up. That piece of music has accompanied me my entire adult life. And isn't that just the most wonderful thing you've ever seen? Uza Maya sitting with a bass guitar and tuba gloves. We need tuba gloves, don't we? We need tuba gloves. That would be kind of cool. What does this mean, this tuba that everyone is talking about? Well, it's this thing. That absolutely amazing, huge sound here. Ah, biggest sound in the world. And if you're into organ music, you're probably into tubas in a big way. And somebody a long time ago in the Gartro gang came up with tuba, this T-O-O-O-O-O-O-B-A thing. And it's absolutely wonderful. So there you are. Our fans are not just organists and organ music freaks i don't i mean that in the nicest possible way because i too am the biggest organ freak in the world so uh we all love it and absolutely love these things but yes we have some bassists in there as well now i know i happen to know that there's someone else who watches us who also plays the electric bass who plays the bass and i hear there's a little secret coming up on another channel sometime soon so this is going to be exciting if it hasn't already happened uh you know who i'm talking about and you know what's going on. Ah, isn't that cool? That is really cool. That was, uh, again, one of the biggest surprises of today, wasn't it? It's for all lustig and schön. It's really, it's really a joy. It's for all lustig and schön. Will you do this now loud? I'll give you the mic over. Oh. I just offered to give Vanessa the microphone so that she could say all of that to you, but she says she's still too shy. She says she's still too shy. Thank you very much, by the way, for your continued uh, donations this evening towards the Vanessa Garchor Management Fund. <laughs> uh, Vanessa is, like I said, my manager, and you know what she's on about. You know what she's up to. She's keeping me sane. She's keeping this all alive. And actually, I've just realized I've been pressing some of these buttons here tonight to sort of swap between these things where she's been doing other stuff. It's more difficult than you think, you know. I thought I had a good enough job trying to do this, but getting to that done, that's kind of tough stuff as well. So, yes, hats off to Vanessa for all the work she does in the background. And like I say, any donations that come in this evening, they're all for Vanessa, and of course we'll be pumping them back into the channel in one way or another. Here's a piece of music, also requested by... Vanessa's mum, that's Claudia Theis, that's Vanessa's mum. Uh, Vanessa's mum just wrote in the background schüchtern, which means uh, shy, and then a big smiley there because, yeah, in... in in normal life, Vanessa is definitely not shy. Definitely not shy indeed. See if you know what this is.
Again, a piece of sight reading for me. That was from Jan Tiersen, the wonderful music from the wonderful world of Amelie. Um, wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. And that's one of Vanessa's favorite kinds of music. Vanessa likes that sort of atmospheric piano style music. And I think one day, one day we'll maybe move away from the organ to a piano and I will play an evening of atmospheric piano music for Vanessa. Would you like that? Mm -hmm. A long time ago when Vanessa and I got together, she thought, oh, wonderful. I'm going to get I'm going to marry a piano player. He will play piano for me every day of my life. She pictured herself sitting in the background with a glass of champagne in her hand and some, I don't know, truffles or whatever, you know, whatever posh people eat and drink. And I would be sitting at the piano playing romantic Jan Tiersen style, Yurumi or Yarumi or Yurumi or Yaruma, whatever it's called. Um, all that kind of, you know, cheesy, kitschy stuff with four chords and, you know, and do that sort of 24 hours a day and Vanessa would sit there like a Roman goddess being fed grapes by eunuchs, you know, that kind of thing. And um, how often have I done that? Gar nicht, nie. Never. Ja, was ist denn das für eine Eheleistung? Never, never. I am, I am definitely down on my, um, on my, on my on my marital responsibilities, I think. So, yes, yeah. so one of these days I will definitely get there and definitely. Oh, I see, I see. Um, people of the world, people of the world, would you like more Jan Tiersen und, und Suzuki? What's he called? Yeruma. What? Yeruma? Yeruma. We played something. We played something at Christmas time, didn't we? Of his, is it a him? Yeah. Suzuki. What's his name? Yeruma. Yeruma. Yehovah. We'll get into Monty Python in a minute. I can tell. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be good fun. Now, 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 now. Michael Thielen, what about your white piano? Yes, we still have our white piano downstairs, and uh, <laughs> I'm scared to touch it in case it goes bang and blows up in a corner. Now, I asked Vanessa if there's sort of old jazzy music she likes, and she looked at me and laughed and said, good God, no. And I managed to narrow her down to Porgy and Bess, Summertime, and another one called I Got Plenty of Nothing, which is coming later. Um, but she then also said, hold on a minute. When I was at school, there was a piece of music we always had to sing in music lessons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and this is also because you see we had summertime, which ties in with the change to European summertime, which we had overnight, and then it's now springtime, and of course in the springtime there's a piece of music that became very famous in Germany many, 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 many years ago, probably about a hundred years ago. Um, somebody singing to a girl and telling, oh, spring has sprung or spring is here. It's a wonderful piece of music by the comedian harmonists. If you don't know who they are, look them up. The comedian harmonists and the piece of music is called Veronica der Lenz ist da. When I moved to Germany, I had a musical group and they performed this piece of music. And I didn't know what they were singing about because when I arrived, I couldn't speak any German at all. And I thought, they were singing, you know, Veronica der Lenz is da. And I thought Lenz was the name of a guy. I thought Lenz was somebody's name. And I thought it was sort of like, you know, Veronica's mum saying, oh, Veronica, Lenz is da. Uh, but no, it means Veronica, spring is there. And it's a very suggestive piece of music. There are sort of all sorts of things in there talking about asparagus growing, if you know what I mean. So, yes, it's not just about spring has sprung. It's about... What happens during spring?
Musica, der Lenz ist da. When you sing this kind of music, you have to, you have to put a clothes peg on your nose. Veronica, der Lenz ist da. I know somebody that sings like that. By, uh, 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 Vanessa knows him too, yeah? Yeah. Rodi. <laughs> back in the, back in the twenties, when recordings were made on shellac on seventy eight records, people sang like this. They sang very sort of nasally, and we always took the Mickey out of them. And I know a guy who sings like that even now. He sounds like he's singing on a shellac record. Funny guy. I won't name names. He's got eyebrows like um, drain pipes, you know, not the drain pipes that go down, but the drain pipes that are up at the top, that, you know, they're sort of shaped like that. You can, you can, you can put pencils on his uh, eyebrows, yeah, you can rest pencils on them. Um, they're so curved. Uh, <laughs> and he sings like me, <laughs> he sings like a sort of a caricature of himself, like, yeah. like a Spike Milligan character from The Goons. Yes, incredibly, incredibly weird. Definitely good. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Earlier today, it was of course Vanessa's birthday all day today, and it started with a lovely breakfast provided by her loving husband. Yeah. The opening of presents wrapped beautifully by her loving husband. Yeah. A new, a new tree for our greenhouse bought by her loving husband. Yeah, yeah. Not a fig tree, they're dangerous. <laughs> You saw that on Uzo Mayo's video as well, the fig tree with the saw. I thought that's beautiful. If you don't know what that joke's all about, then you'll work it out. Uh, there's an inside story there. Um, and then, of course, we gathered our things and went over to Vanessa's family, which is a couple of villages in that direction, and um, spent the afternoon and the early evening over there. And, of course, we took our dog with us. And our dog, our 12-year-old Labrador, loves to be the center of attention, even more so than I do or Vanessa does. He is even worse. And this evening, while we were opening presents, um, you saw right back at the beginning, if you didn't see it, go and check at the beginning again, Vanessa's family made a little video where they had one of those confetti cannons, boom, and all this confetti disappears all over the place. And the confetti was red hearts. And they surprised us when we arrived this afternoon by blowing a confetti cannon in our faces, basically, uh, in the house. And uh, the dog thought this was hilarious and played all afternoon with the confetti on the floor. And of course, we had to take a picture. Three, two, one. There he is. Isn't that the most beautiful dog you've ever seen in your life? That is our darling dog, covered in red heart confetti. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? He's, he's lying there like a little frog on the floor, actually. Yes. But come on, isn't that the most beautiful little dog you've ever seen in your lives? So yeah, that's how we spent the afternoon. And then we spent about an hour and a half cleaning that all up, of course, um, because, yeah. He'd managed to get it all over the place, yeah? He was playing with it, blowing on it, sneezing at it. Labradors sneeze, that's what they do, isn't it? And he managed to get it everywhere. So that was, that was half the fun of the afternoon, <laughs> um, playing around with our wonderful, wonderful Labrador over at Vanessa's family, having a great time. A great time indeed. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting towards the end of the evening. I hope you've been having a great time. I hope you enjoyed our ben Vanessa's birthday bash very much indeed. And I will thank you in advance for your generosity. Don't forget everything that comes in tonight will be donated towards the Vanessa Gartro Management Fund um, for a change. It'll all come back to the channel, don't worry about it. Um, but it's all going to be for Vanessa tonight. So Vanessa will decide what we do with it this time. So thank you for your generosity. Um, all good fun indeed. And uh, yeah, thank you for being such a wonderful audience and being here and being around. Now, at the beginning of this evening's concert, I said to you there will be an enormous surprise towards the end, and I hope you're all still here. I hope you're all still here. Vanessa, have you got the link ready? Nee. No. No? Mm. Are you going to copy the link? In the Notizen? Ja. Ja. Ach, das hast du schon gemacht. Du bist echt ein Fuchs. Ich bin echt ein Fuchs. 
<laughs> Apparently, I am a sly fox because I've done something that she didn't know I was going to do. Now, for a very long time, I've been telling you that Vanessa loves her plants. Vanessa loves her plants. We have a greenhouse. A greenhouse full of things, olive trees, citrus trees, I've no idea what. There are things in there that can probably eat you, triffids, you know. I've no idea what's going on in the greenhouse. That's definitely her department and her thing. It's her hobby. And we're definitely going to turn it into, get ready for this, we're going to turn it into a YouTube channel. All of you have been saying, we want to see Vanessa, we want to see Vanessa. What does Vanessa look like? So what better way to find out what Vanessa looks like than to go and check out Vanessa's very own YouTube channel. We've just started, we just posted one video, one video, and if you want to go and see Vanessa at work, then you will go to her channel. Now, this video is no, not public yet. This is only for you. This is a secret video for you, for the Garchor gang. It, it will go public, but for tonight and tomorrow only, it will remain an unlisted video. You can only see it if you have the link. And the link will be posted here very shortly. Noch nicht. The link will be posted here very shortly. And... Um, we actually had a deal. I was going to show the world, Vanessa, if we got 50,000 subscribers by tonight. We didn't. So we weren't going to show Vanessa. But then we thought, hold on, let's do it differently. You want to see Vanessa. So let's see if we can get Vanessa's channel up and running as quickly as possible. Now, be warned, it's only in German. Now, I do all my live streams in English, but Vanessa claims not be able to, to be able to speak English all that well. That's not true. She understands everything I say, which is sometimes a problem. But, um, um, yes, her channel is all about the garden. It's called Garcho's Garden. Actually, at the moment, it's called Vanessa Garcho, but we're going to change it to Garcho's Garden. And uh, she's going to do a YouTube channel all about gardens, gardening, plants, plant care, growing plants, tending for plants. Die Leute sehen das nur die kleinen Villa Junior Garden. Doch, natürlich sehen die das Video. Ja, sicher. Ach so, also, das dachte ich jetzt. Ah, no, 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 no. Vanessa was just thinking, can they just go and see the channel? No, no, they can actually see the video. You can go and see the video. But it's a private video. It's only for you, okay? Now, if you have the link, you can forward it to other people. That's not a problem. But it's not public. You can't search for Vanessa Garcho on YouTube. Not yet. That's coming on Tuesday. And um, so this is a thank you present from Vanessa to you, especially to you. Um, there aren't English subtitles on the video yet, but there will be at some point in the near future. We only recorded this yesterday, so it's all very, um, it's all very sort of spontaneous. Um, so if you want to go and see Vanessa and see my beautiful Vanessa, that's it. You're going to be public now. You're going to be bumping. <laughs> she says she's not sure she's going to. Yes, you are. You're going to do this. This is, this is Vanessa's thank you to you. So here it is. Here's a link to a YouTube video. And when you're finished watching our number this evening, then please go and uh, check out. Oh, I see. Oh, you're only doing it at the end. Yeah. <gasps> you sneaky devil. She's all oh, right. She's clever. She's only going to. Oh, I see. She's clever. She's very clever. <laughs> clever. She's, she's a clever business person. All right. All right. You have to hang around until the end of this evening. I thought we were going to do it now. But at the end of this evening, when we're saying our goodbyes, uh, Vanessa, will, Vanessa will put up the link to her video. And it would be absolutely wonderful if you went and checked out her video, gave the video a thumbs up, obviously, subscribe to her channel. She doesn't have any subscribers yet, obviously. So wouldn't it be great if you all went over there and just pressed subscribe, give her a push, and let's make this a popular thing for the summer and the winter and years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, I promised you another piece of music from George Gershwin this evening. I got plenty or nothing. And that's exactly true for today, because today was not about me. Today was all about Vanessa. I got plenty of nothing. Back in a minute.
got plenty of nothing. And nothing plenty for me. The national anthem of every professional musician ever. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Vanessa's birthday bash concert. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my wonderful new socks, by the way. I didn't mention my socks. We've found, can you show the socks briefly, please? Yeah. Look, we have socks with spiders on them and things. Yeah. Look, look, yes. The no, there, no, there, 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 on the inside. Look. There's a spider. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Ugh, I have to turn myself around. I have, to, I have to do some yoga. Can you see it on the other leg? Is it on, on the other one? No. There, yes, on the outside. Oh, bloody hell, I can't see that. There. Can you see that? Ugh. No, probably not. Ugh. How about that? Can you see that? No, it's far too far away. You can't see it. Believe me. Believe me, there are spiders on those socks. Not many, two spiders, but two spiders are more than enough. Ladies and gentlemen, that was it for this evening. That was the night that was. That was... Why am I not on? Yes, I am. That was Sunday night is organ music night. That was Vanessa's birthday bash. The wonderful Mrs. Vanessa Garchor and her hard work in the background. It's much harder work than I thought it was. I had to do a bit of it myself this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. We'll be back through the week with some other exciting stuff. I have some new plans for you. Ingo, Ingo, bist du noch da? Guckst du noch zu? Dein Wunsch wird diese Woche erfüllt. Zumindest zum Teil. Uh, Alexander, dein Wunsch wird diese Woche auch erfüllt. Und Colin, Colin, your wish shall be granted on Friday, if you know what I mean. So, ladies and gentlemen, here, to finish off this evening's festivities is a YouTube link. When you finish... Yeah, but you can, have you got it copied in the clipboard and you can just pop it in there when it's ready, yeah? Okay. Um, like I said, if you haven't already thought about it, then when we're finished this evening, go click over to Vanessa's new channel, check out her video. Ganz schnell auf Deutsch, für die, die es nicht verstanden haben, Vanessa wird jetzt der Welt präsentiert, aber nicht hier, sondern in ihrem eigenen YouTube-Kanal. Garchos Garden, Garchos Garden, Garchos Garten. Momentan heißt der Kanal tatsächlich noch Vanessa Garcho, aber in ein paar Stunden heißt es dann Garchos Garden. Video Nummer 1 ist da und wird hoffentlich von euch angeschaut. Allerdings nur auf Deutsch. Sehr gut, oder? Ich mache die englischen Sachen, sie macht die deutschen Sachen. Ähm, und sie zeigt euch unser Gewächshaus und wie sie für dieses Jahr ein paar Gemüsepflanzen anzieht. Hm. Vorzieht, sorry, nicht anzieht. Du wirst sie nicht anziehen. Äh, vorziehen heißt es, oder? Anzüchten kann man auch sagen, oder? Ja. ja. Okay, okay, I got that wrong. Never mind. Um, and yes, this is Vanessa doing her thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough from me for this evening. That was our birthday bash for the beautiful Vanessa. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy a wonderful start to the new week and I look forward to seeing you through the week and at the very latest on Friday in our next live stream. Another motto evening as well. There will be a lovely motto for Friday night. Hope you can join us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your kind donations and I look forward to seeing and hearing from you either in the comments, via a thumbs up, via a subscription if you haven't already, or via an email to, what's the email? Gang at garchor.de, is that correct? Mm. Gang at garchor.de. Thank you very much. See you very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye. Mm.